so cyber security generally comes up with a framework that you have to implement in an organization so it is aimed at making the organization or the infrastructure more vigilant resilient and ready to protect and then defend every ongoing connection that is ingress and egress connection uh, that um, affects the organization data in how it is stored transmitted or processed so that means every organization or every infrastructure will have certain stored data which the employees will inadvertently access if you are attached if if you are working in a company you will be accessing company servers no matter if you're working from home or you're working within the organization perimeters now i i will deep dive into the first subtopic of the uh, chapter that is to understand what are uh, threats to understand what are vulnerabilities what are exploits what is the difference between threats vulnerabilities and exploits now what is a threat so in simple terms a threat to an organization a threat to a system is the potential danger to that organization or to that system uh, in the nomenclature of cyber security we refer to a system or we refer to to the various uh, parts of the organization that can be exploited as assets asset is something that is valuable to an organization the reason why uh, malicious actors do that is because it is valuable to the to that organization so when we have to define threat what we say is that a threat is a potential danger to that asset to an asset of an organization so if a vulnerability exists but that has not been exploited yet or it is not publicly known then the threat is not realized or what we refer it as threat is not uh, or the threat is latent so for example if someone is actively launching an attack against an organization system and is successful in accessing something or compromises the security against an asset then we say as threat is realized and the uh, entity that takes advantage of the vulnerability is known as the malicious actor and the path that this entity uses to attack that asset is something which is known as threat vector or threat agent uh, consider uh, this as the organization i said that the threat is a potential danger uh, to an asset of an organization so consider there are many servers in organization abc now there is now there is an external entity that is meaning to exploit the assets of an organization but what is this attack called whatever type of attack that this threat uses in order to exploit that vulnerability of the organization is called a threat vector now threats are also called threat actors no system is 100% secure there would always be certain vulnerabilities to exploit in a system because not all systems not all code is 100% ideal this little circle refers to what we'll call as vulnerability if this vulnerability did not exist then this threat actor would not have been able to exploit this vulnerability and attack the organization because this small loophole exists in the system the threat actor realized that this vulnerability exists and uh, and he launched a threat vector or he launched a mechanism or process of uh process to exploit the threat and he was able to um and he was able to get access of the system or escalate the privilege etc or in in other terms be a potential danger to an asset 